Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. God bless you, family and friends. Welcome to another Wednesday Wisdom. So today I'm going to share with you a few things that the one who is walking in humility experiences. So the one who is walking in humility um, recognizes how undone he or she is. And it's not in the sense that it causes you to run away from God, but it, but it's in the sense that it causes you to recognize the need to run to God or the need to have God in your life or to have more of him in your life. Um, so... Um, that individual runs to God. Despite the circumstance, the situation, the, the individual runs to God. Now, the one who is um, not walking in humility, what will happen is that um, your circumstance, your situation will cause you to run away from God. Um, you will see yourself um, undone, but in the sense that you want to run away, you will feel you're not good enough to come to God or to approach God or to deserve God. So this is um, this is pride, and pride would run would cause you to run away, um, and. It's kind of a false sense of humility because you would look at it and you would say, well, I don't deserve to have God, you know, look how messed up I am and look this and look that. But um, if it's causing you to run away from God, then um, it's pride because um, humility causes you to run to God. So... Um, if you have fallen short of the glory of God, if you have fallen from the faith, if you have fallen by the wayside, if you've been struggling in sin, um, it is not too late. Turn around. Run to God. He is waiting. His arms are stretched out to you. Turn away from your sin and run to God. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. God's grace is available. His mercy is available for you. And don't stay there. Don't continue to run away from God. But run to God and allow the Lord Jesus Christ to restore you for his honor and for his glory and um don't allow pride to keep you from humbling yourself because you are thinking um you you are thinking of what people will think about you what people will say just turn around and run to god god is calling you to come to him run to him don't be focused about what people will say just run to God. If he's been nudging on your heart, and he's been convicting you that you need to turn away from that thing that you have been doing. You need to turn away from that relationship that um, that is not is not um, glorifying him. You need to obey and turn away from that relationship. Turn away and run to God. Don't put people before God. Don't put no man before God. Don't put sin before God. Don't put pleasures for a season before God. Humble yourself and run to God. Amen. So, um, the one who is in humility will... Um, will seek to obey God. 
um, I remember last year I had to follow some instructions from God that I really didn't want to uh, it was not easy you know because the nature of what I had to do but um, I had to humble myself because I wanted him I wanted God you know I wanted God I wanted to please him and so um, I had to humble myself so I humbled myself so that I could do what he was instructing me to do so I encourage you humble yourself and do what God is instructing you to do follow the directions that he's he is giving you whoever it is he's telling you to reach out to you may have to reach out to people and apologize to them do what he's telling you to do because in that lies your freedom so um, anyway the one who is walking in humility um, seeks after God with in truth with a heart of truth it's about God they seek after God with their whole heart it's all about God I remember there was a time you know I would sing that song it's all about you Jesus and all this is for you for your glory and your fame it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone are god and i surrender to your way wow i remember singing that so much and i'm telling you <laughs> i'm telling you it was just a song it was just a song but we need to pass you know bring him more than a song it's time to move past that you know we need to bring him more than a song we need to demonstrate demonstrate our love to him by humbling ourselves humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and he will exalt you humble yourself humble yourself the the one who um, humbles themselves under the mighty hand of God um, they they are all about the will of God they are all about God's purpose fulfilling God's purpose um, there's no ulterior motive for them coming to God they seek after him not his hand they don't seek after him for what he can do but they seek after him because they desire him because they want him this is what um this is what the one who is walking in humility um experiences you know the one who is walking in humility is um living a selfless life selfless 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 and it becomes truly all about him all about him not about you not about me but all about him so today I want to encourage you to continue to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God humble yourself his grace is available when you humble yourself when you um when you are when you are so-called coming to god but not in humility you you are going to get discouraged you will grow weary you will want to give up um because your motive for coming to him is not about him it's about you you know how it benefits you but really we are to come to him um, to fulfill his purpose to bring him pleasure 
um, to work out his will for our life. Um, seek him because his word said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33, you know, so this is our motive. It's all about him and truly not about us, not how it benefits us, you know. So let's um, examine our motives for what we do. Examine our motives and see if it comes out of truth, a heart of truth. So are you calling on God out of truth, you know, that you really want him in your heart? Do you really, really want him? Or do you just want him because of what you want from him? So let's, um, let's re-examine our motives for what we do. Amen. And, and let us allow our motives to be pure, allow it to be, um, allow it to bring glory unto the Lord, our motive. Let it be that you are doing it as unto the Lord. Amen. This is supposed to be our reason for what we do as unto the Lord to bring him glory. Amen. So, um, God bless you. And continue loving Jesus by applying wisdom to your daily life. And I love you and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.